morning year five and um, hope you're all okay we've had a really good half term um, it's Miss Pugh here and I'm going to show you today how to multiply four digit numbers by two digit numbers in maths now this is a skill that you've already done um, but it's just a recap and a reminder of how to do it how to set it out and the different ways the different methods that we we use to work out a problem like this so I'm going to start with 3245 multiplied by 23 so firstly, we need to set it out in the column way, like we normally would for multiplying numbers. Now obviously, hopefully you'd be using your squared paper, but obviously like I'm doing, you can use lined paper, but it does need to make sure it's be, it is set out properly. Right, now because I'm multiplying by 23, and we've got the 20 in the tens column, I need to make sure I put my zero down first. That is going to be my placeholder for when I am multiplying by the 20. So before we do that, we're going to start with multiplying by three. So we're going to do 3,245 multiplied by three. So five times three is 15. I'm going to put my five down from that number and carry the 10 over. Four times three would be 12. Add that one would be 13. Remember to carry the numbers over if you need to. Three times two is six. Add the one would be seven. And then three times three would be nine. So my answer to 3,245 multiplied by three is 9,735. So my next step now is to do the same number, 3,245, but multiply it by 20 this time. So I'm going to start with 2 times 5, which it would be 20 times 5, but because we put our 0 down, we can do 2 times 5, which is 10. So put my 0 down and carry the 1 over. 2 times 4 is 8. Remember to add that, which would be 9. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Remember to let's say, set it out really neatly so it's clear for you when you come to the next part. So now I've worked out the multiplying it by 3 and I've also multiplied it by 20, I need to add these two numbers together to get my final result. So 5 add 0 is, is 5. 3 add 0 is 3, 9 add 7 is 16, so you put your 6 and you carry that 1 over, um, 9 add 4 is 13, but we need to remember to add that, so it would be 14, carry the 1, and then 6 add your, we'll carry it over 1, it would be 7. So my answer to this number would be 74,000. 635. Okay, I'm going to show you one more here. So we've got um, 4,263 multiplied by 18 this time. So again, you need to set it out like a column. But remember to be extra, extra careful that they are all in the correct columns. So I've got my units, my tens, my hundreds and my thousands. Because if you mix them up, that's when you're going to get an incorrect answer. Right, remember, because we're multiplying by a 10 here, the first thing I need to do is put my placeholder 0 in. And now I can start doing multiplying this number by 8. So, 3 times 8 is 24. So I'm going to put my 4 down and carry the 20 over. Just a little there. 6 times 8 is 48. Adding that 2 would be 50. So I'm going to put my zero down and carry five over. Eight times two is 16. Add that five will be 21. So I'm going to put a one down and carry a two. And now eight times four is 32. Adding that two is 34. So my answer to 4,263 multiplied by eight is 34,104. But that's not finished. Now we need to multiply 4,263 by 10. 
but we've already put my zero down so it does make it a little bit easier and we're going to start with one times three one times six one times two one times four now please remember to set it out neatly only because it's harder for me or it's harder for you if you've got lined paper that's what i'm thinking if you have got lined paper then do set it out really really clearly for yourselves now we can add these two numbers together to get the final result to this question so four times zero oh, sorry four add zero is four zero add three is three one add six seven four add two is six and three add four seven so my answer to this number is seventy six thousand seven hundred and thirty four now hope that has helped a little bit um if you have learned this skill before with your teachers um so this is just a recap if you are struggling with the questions that we've provided please do get in touch and we are more than happy to help you